How to create slideshow movies for free or less. A video tutorial by Casual Jocks. We want to create slideshows that can be uploaded to YouTube, and we don't want to pay the piper, neither would Peter Piper the woodpecker, so we Google for the keywords, slideshow, freeware and AVI. This brings us to snapfiles.com in a snap. Near the bottom of the barrel of the web page we find Slideshow Movie Maker with the following description, Slideshow Movie Maker can create an AVI video slideshow from a series of BMP or JPEG images. Images can have professional looking fade in and fade out effects, plus attractive text overlays. The program lets you choose to save output using any one of your system's installed AVI codecs. You can choose to build your slideshow from selected pictures or entire directories. If you select any of the included effects, they can be previewed using the built-in viewer before you apply any of them. The program also lets you save your work as projects, so you can continue working on them at a later time. Additional features include color fading, panorama scrolling and more. So we click the big sexy download button. We wait a few seconds and we meditate and we accept to save the zip file because we're easy and we elect to put it in our C drive that is ours and that we own, under the name SSMM353.zip and we accept to open the file, we're so courageous. Which brings up WinZip, or any unzipper you may have, not including your spouse or concubine unzipper and we unzip the zip file to the root of our C drive. I use the term root but not in the Australian sense of the word. Checkmark WinZip's use folder names checkbox box box echo echo echo. Now let's use Windows Explorer and check our C drive. A new folder named SSMM 3.5.3 was created woohoo. We open the folder and find a program named SSMM.exe. Hey where did that come from? Oh I remember now. We launch it and... We're in Slideshow Movie Maker, in the bowels of the beast. First we'll fill the picture list with some picture files. Click on the object menu item, you won 5 points for precision clicking. Now click on the add pictures menu item. Note that you could add a whole folder of pictures in one shot. Bada bing. In this case we load 15 pictures, which happen to be the 15 pictures you saw so far bada bang. Check mark the. Show preview, checkbox, so you can see what you're doing. Bada boom. If you look under the pictures list, there's what you need to reorder the pictures. You got the power. In the upper right corner you can see our 14 pictures slideshow would last 1 minute 38 seconds. That's about 7 seconds per image. Let's try to understand this let's go in. Project. Project settings. Using the menu at the top, we can see the movie file that will be created, which will be our slideshow, will be placed in the SSMM folder under the name output.avi. We'll change this to the name tutorial.avi. The movie size is currently 640 by 480 pixels, that's too big for YouTube usage. We change it to 320 by 240 pixels, which is standard. The number of frames per second is 25. Maybe we would change it to 30 if we later wanted to make a North America format DVD, but we'll leave it at 25. The value for the frames showing pictures is 100, 100 frames, that's 4 seconds. Fading to next picture has a value of 25, so, 1 second. I can't see how we get 7 seconds per image. It's weird man I tell you, it's weird. Anyway, back to the main screen as you can see the column in the pictures list titled fading type to next picture is empty and that's bad, it's no good, it has to change, it can't go on like that. We can do this picture by picture, click on the first image in the pictures list, select an effect from the list, then click the corresponding update button. It's rainy and cold today. As you can see I choose the cross dissolve effect but you can choose another one. It's okay I want. You can select many pictures at once select multiple files by holding the shift key as you click on files with your left mouse button. Now select an effect from the list of fade effects, 
and click on the update button to the right of that list. It's rainy, cold, and it's autumn but in Australia it's spring. See? I know things. There, we chose the fade effect for four files at once, we're the man. You can also set the text that will be displayed by selecting one or many pictures in the pictures list, then entering text in the picture text box, then clicking on the corresponding update button. Here too, you could select multiple pictures, and set the text to whatever, then click the update button hi mom. Now let's add the audio track. Click on the audio settings button. Music is paramount, it's 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 half the movie. At the top you select a WAV file. Yes, only WAV files, so sue me if you have an MP3 you'd like to use as your soundtrack, I suggest you look into an AMPS Disk Writer plugin. Hey how about that, it's all plug and crash and play. As you can see here, the audio file I chose is very short, shorter than the slideshow, and I can add additional audio files that will start playing when the selected slide is shown. Oh we're getting close to the end I can feel it in my bones. But since I'm a synthetic voice I don't have bones, oh I wish I had a body. Click on the start creation button. What a momentous moment. I disabled the cache options because I didn't feel I needed it. I felt it in my non-existent bones. Now we must choose a video codec and as it says there, don't choose the uncompressed video codec. Else your resulting file will be monstrously very big like huge, too huge. Instead, go at divx.com and get the free divx codec. Plus you'll be able to play all those movies. Oops I mean to play all the videos you find here and there. There I chose the divx codec, it's cold, it's rainy, it's autumn, and there's some golden maple leaves. It's really beautiful and here you can see I configured my DivX codec to output a 1000 kilobits per second video stream. That's about 7.5 megs per minute of video. Did you know that this video was created on October 28, 2006? Now you know. Let's choose the audio codec. The codec shown here is present on all installations of Windows. It's very compatible with all video editing software. Unfortunately it adds much to the file size. About 10 megs per minute. So, 50 megs for a 5 minute slideshow. Here's the audio codec I prefer to use. The MP3 codec. It may not be present on all Windows installations. 56 kilobits per second 22,050 hertz stereo 6 kilobytes per second. Instead of 50 megs, this codec will add only less than 2 megs for 5 minutes of audio. Note that the program will display a message to the effect that this audio codec may not be working, but you can ignore this warning. It's not dangerous, and we're not afraid, we're the Indiana Jones of the PC. Time for the grand finale. Click on the Start Creation button. This step will take seconds or minutes depending on which fade effects you chose. I noticed the cross dissolve effect is really fast. But the blur effect is painlessly slow it hurts and that's it, a video you can upload to YouTube and shine your light on the world. Have a happy life.